guys, welcome to ITS Information Technology Skills. On this video, we're going to have another software engineering topic which is about Entity Relationship Diagram or ERD. So, sa video na to, we're going to have an overview on ERD, the entities, attributes, and relationships on ERD. Then, we have cardinality and modality. And of course, we're going to build an ERD using the cross foot notation. So first, discuss muna natin ko na ang entity. Entity can be a real world object. It can be a person, object, or a place. Then, meron tayong tinatawag na attributes. Attributes are the characteristics of an entity. It is used to describe the entity. So, for example, meron tayo nung babaeng to. Let's say that is a student. So, this student can be the entity. Ngayon, the attributes for a student can be the student ID, the name, course, year and level, and yung department niya. So, kung titignan natin, pag yung attributes na tinatawag natin, it describes the student. So, if we're going to create an entity using the gross foot notation, gagamit lang tayo ng square. Okay? So, on this box, dun sa taas, yun yung entity po natin. So, ngayon, meron tayong makikita dyan, student. Then, under yung student, guys, we have their words that describe the student or that describes the entity. That is the attributes. So, ngayon, meron tayong nakikita ditong PK and FK. So, ano nga ba yung PK and FK na yan? So, PK stands for primary key and FK is for foreign key. A primary key is used to ensure data in a specific column is unique. It is a column that cannot have a null value. So, pag sinabi natin primary key dun sa may ERD po natin, that is an attribute na unique in every entity po natin. So, let's say meron tayong mga students. Each student have their own unique ID or student ID. Kaya dito sa may example po natin, the primary key is the student ID. And a primary cannot be null. So, kung mapapansin nyo naman, yung mga students natin, lahat dapat sila, meron silang student ID. Ngayon, ano naman yung foreign key? A foreign key is a column in a relational database table that provides a link between data into tables. It is a column that references a column, most often the primary key of another table. So, dito sa example natin guys, makikita natin na ang foreign key natin are the course code and the depth code. And sabi dito, a foreign key is a column or an attribute that gives a relationship with another entity. And it is used as a primary key dun sa ibang tables po natin or dun sa ibang entity po natin. So, dito sa example na course code, let's say meron tayong course na entity, itong course code na to is a primary key dun sa entity na course. So, to better understand that, let's have this example. So, let's say we have again the student entity and these are its attribute. Tapos, meron tayong isa pang entity which is the course. Ngayon, makikita natin that the primary key of the entity course is the course code. So, tulad na nang sabi kanina, kapag merong foreign key yung isang entity galing dun sa isa pang entity, meron silang relationship or it shows relationship. So, how do we write the relationship dun sa dalawang entity po natin that will be written like this? So, ano tong symbol na nakikita natin na ganito? Okay? So, that is what we call as the cardinality and modality. Cardinality refers to the maximum number of times an instant in one entity can be associated with an instant in the other entity. While modality refers to the minimum number of times an instant in one entity can be associated with an instant in the related entity. So basically, pag sinabi natin cardinality, maximum number, and modality is the minimum number. So dito sa symbol natin na to, ang minimum or the modality is yung first na drino po natin. Okay? So itong nasa outer part. While the inner part or yung mas malapit dun sa entity po natin or dun sa box is the maximum or the cardinality. So now let's try to continue this and build an ERD for enrollment system. Okay? So sa enrollment system, of course, we need the entity student, we also have the course, and we also have subject. So, itong subject na to, makikita po natin, we have a foreign key na course code. 
So basically, kung meron siyang foreign key galing dun sa course na entity natin, meron silang relationship. So, lagyan lang natin sila ng line between the two. Now, ano po yung cardinality and modality? So, if we're going to read this, let's say yung course can have minimum of one subject or many subject. Okay? So, yung bar na to, that is the modality. And yung bar na to is the cardinality. Okay, so yung modality guys is 0 or 1 lang po ang ilalagay natin. Pag 0, ibig sabihin yun po yung minimum niya. Then kapag 1, at least 1 dapat ang minimum niya. Then pag many, ganito po ang many. Para po siyang greater than or less than. Depende po kung saan ang box siya makikita. And pwede din siyang 1. Okay, so yun lang yung nakalagay dun sa cardinality and modality. Another, pag binasa naman natin dito subject to course, Yung subject can be placed in at least one course or many course. So, pag inanalyze natin yan, yung isang course po, pwede siyang magkaroon ng isang subject or madaming subject. Then, yung subject, pwede siyang makita sa isang course or madaming course. Let's say, English 1 na subject, pwede siya sa BSIT, pwede siya sa BSIS, pwede siya sa BSCS. Okay, so one or many course. Then next, let's say meron tayong instructor na entity. So makikita natin dito, meron siyang employee ID as its primary key, last name, first name, yung depth code, it's a foreign key. Sabihin na lang natin na department entity, pero wala pa, hindi pa natin nagawa. We also have the foreign key na subject code, which is makikita natin dun sa entity natin na subject. Okay? So, kung meron siya doon as a foreign key ka instructor, ibig sabihin may relationship yung instructor and the subject. So, ibig sabihin, lagyan lang natin to ng line. So, ngayon, babasahin na natin or lalagyan na natin siya ng cardinality and modality. So, ang subject can be taught by at least one instructor or many instructor. So, sabihin ulit natin na yung programming one can be taught by one instructor or pwedeng madaming instructor ang nagtuturo ng programming one. And yung isang instructor, pwede siyang magturo ng at least one subject and pwede ding magturo ng madaming subject. Okay? Dagdagan pa natin kasi meron pa tayo ditong depth code. So, ibig sabihin meron tayong entity na department. Okay? So, sabihin na lang natin that these are the attributes ng department po natin na entity. The depth code and the department description or depth this. Okay? So, depth code is a foreign key ni instructor. So, lagyan natin sila ng line. Now, for going to add the cardinality and modality, an instructor can be found on at least one department or many department. And a department can have at least one instructor or many instructors. So, ganun lang siya. Ngayon, meron pa tayo ditong section ID. So, kung saan section maahanap yung student. So, magdagdag tayo dito na section na entity. So, sabihin na lang natin that the entity has an attribute na section ID and section description. Okay? So, because that is a foreign key ni student, meaning meron silang relationship. So, ngayon, magdagdag tayo ng cardinality and modality. A student can be found on one section and the maximum is one. So, we mean that the student can be placed on one section only. Then, a section, meron siyang at least one student na nakaregister doon or many student. Pero basically naman, di ba, madaming student ang naka enlist sa isang section. Of course, we have here the minimum and the maximum. So, kung titignan natin, meron tayo ditong dalawang one. It is basically, isa lang talaga. Minimum niya at isa. Maximum niya isa. So, it's a mandatory na a student is added on at least a one section. So, that's it guys. This is an example of Entity Relationship Diagram for an Enrollment System. Kung nakatulong tong video na to, don't forget to like. And kung gusto mo pang matuto about the other Entity Relationship Diagram Notation, which is the Chen Notation, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell para ma-notify ka kung meron na yung bagong video natin. Bye!